<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon in the livestock area, whoever the AXR Arena, we're doing some 4-H demonstrations for the llama and camera. First, we have Emily Stemper, and she is from Benton County. Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a great day at the State Fair. Um, I am Emily Stemper, and this is my llama ice cream. I've been showing him for about four years now. I've been training llamas for five years. Uh, we are from Brent Benton County, and I'm gonna show you how to cart a llama. Recently I took a class on how to cart llamas. I know it sounds a little weird at first, but after the class, I learned just how fun, creative, and interesting it can really be. Carting is also a great way to bond with your llama, which is always a good thing. For those of you who don't know what carting is, it's basically just pulling a small cart behind a llama. About two to three people can fit inside a cart, and you can use up to four llamas to pull the cart. Nowadays, you don't see carting as often, but people used to use it as a way of transportation, hauling supplies, or simply just as a pastime. Carting was very convenient at the time. To start, you should choose a llama that is bold, well-balanced, one that doesn't mind being alone, and one that is a little bit older, so there's less likely to be spinal injuries. Note that the smaller the llama, the faster it will tire. Also keep in mind that you are able to use both a male or a female, but sometimes attitude is more important than size. Today I will be using my llama ice cream because I think he has great confirmation and I think he is ideal for this kind of situation. To start, Slowly place the harness on the llama's back. Again, make sure to move slowly. Frightened llamas can injure themselves. Once you've gotten the harness on your llama, Pull the collar around his neck. The collar is what the llama actually pulls the cart through. Might need to give ice cream a little haircut soon. Sometimes their fur can get in the way. <laughs> You then come up to the saddle. The saddle should sit on the crest of the llama. This is the foundation of the harness and helps hold the cart to the llama. You may adjust it with the belly band, which goes under the llama and attaches on the other side to make it more comfortable for them. The back strap connects the saddle and the back half of the harness. You can also make appropriate adjustments for the, bre for the breaching lengths with the back strap. Coming down is where you find the hip straps. The hip straps also help adjust and hold up the breaching. The breaching fits in the center of the llama's hips. This is what helps keep the cart from running into the llama. Remember to keep about a three to four finger space in between the harness and your llama so it's more comfortable for them. Next is your shaft loop. Your shaft loop is what is, a, is attached to the saddle. This is what helps keep the, tar the cart from tipping upward. 
The traces are the two long straps connecting from the harness directly to the cart. This is what actually enables the llama to pull the cart. Lastly are your reins. Now, before the show, we changed Ice Cream's halter. You're supposed to use specific halters for carting. And the, the reins simply just connect to the halter, directly to the driver's hands. The reins are your only connection with your llama while driving. Once you've got the halter or the harness on and the reins 